My voice. It's okay. Come forward. You've been summoned. Come through. In a moment, I'm going to reach out to Mary. She's been freaked out for a while. We've Simon. left signs, we've left feathers, we've left a lot of symbology, people. I want uh, to let her know that we're here and it's time for her to be known in this situation. Who the fuck are you and why are you even following me? Are you chewing gum and smoking at the same time? I smoke and chew gum at the same time. So what? Who are you? What do you want from me? We come in peace, no harm peace intended. No harm. Because I'm starting to think that my house is haunted by spirits, and that's crazy. You're not crazy. So, like, what the fuck is going on, please? Can someone explain? Is this, am I alive still? Yes. Is this the fifth dimension? Not really, but you're kind of on the right track. Am I even in normal reality anymore? So you're a pedophile hunter now. What's it to you if I'm hunting pedophiles? Nothing wrong with it, it, but you just told too many people, you're being obvious about it, people who are infiltrated. And you gotta ditch that colonizer weapon, man. It's fucking yuck. Get rid of it. Happy! Shit, where did she go? Where did she go? Is this better? Yes. Yes. I can't like it. You suit it. Do you accept your mission? Yeah, I'll accept. Mad. Mad. I knew something was going on. I couldn't explain it. Let's start with the DMT experience with the beings. I, I didn't, I didn't see the beings. I didn't get that experience. I didn't go to a different world. I was just in my lounge looking at the window and I saw pyramids. Really? In a solar system. I never thought about pyramids like this. What's the significance? They're the memory data banks, banks in the physical banks, form of humanity. humanity. Are you sure? Because um, my granddad's little brother, I think, is buried in Egypt. He died in World War One when he was like 15, 16 years old. So maybe he was trying to get through to me and tell me where he was. That's likely. Because I felt a, a home feeling. You received a signal from the pyramids. Like. Try not to dwell too much on the signals. So I wasn't him? Can't say for sure. Your ancestors are very potent though, and you're very connected with them. You've seen Orion's belt, haven't you? Are you talking about aliens here? Like, I don't, be I don't believe in aliens, okay? Ha am I going to be waiting here for like, hours and hours? Or? No, it shouldn't be that long. Do you something you need to be? Yeah, I mean, sure, I've got nothing better to do. No one at home for me to go to, so. No one has listened to me. No one fucking believes me. My own family's not listening to me. Uh, people tell me I'm fucking crazy. I just want, I want you to fucking listen to what I'm saying. Listen to, it's coming to me. It's this message, this fucking information is for you. You know what, like, fucking, I sometimes wish that all the people that hurt me we fucking die a terrible death full of pain. And I'll show no mercy. Alright? I want my fucking friends from underneath the ground to come up. To kill you and wipe everything away. Retribution. I'm fucking done. I'm done with the betrayals. I'm done with the fucking worthlessness from people. Family, friends, neglect. Fucking people. I'm not, like, stepping on me. But stepping on me, yeah. Fucking unprovoked. But just fucking abandoning me every time. Fuck it, I'm, I can't, this isn't a way for somebody to live. So, uh, yeah, get ready for my friends from under the ground to come up. Who are you? Why are you floating around my head? Are you a camera or what? Are you from the future? Are you with these guys? I know you've been watching me for a long time, alright? I just can't be bothered dealing with it. I've got enough other problems going on. I'm on the phone. Why is it so hard for, like, you to believe me? Like, it's not that far-fetched to think that you have a sister that could be magical and spiritual and having, like, you know, freaky experiences. Like, with spirits and shit like this. That's really hard for you to believe, like... Oh, 
like, I haven't spoken to you in months, and you want you want to ring me up and tell me to, like, fucking meditate because I look a little bit excited in my videos. I want you to watch what's in the videos for what the message is. I don't want, I, I don't want to talk about mum. Because it's like my main trauma is my mum trauma. Like, I don't want to bring her up. You don't know what, no, because... You know, I don't know why everybody keeps normalising what she did and what she does to me. But she's a fuck pathetic excuse of a mother. She never has put her whole effort in. She had us so she could get the doll. Like... <laughs> no, she... Times when a daughter needs their mother, she's not been there. And just, everyone just around her blames it on her childhood. Like, get over it. Everyone has shit childhood. Every time I freaking... You know what, when I started finding out that like there was, I had double row teeth taken out when I was nine, I was like watching these giant docos and I went to her and I said, I think I'm magic, like it's freaking me out, can you please help me, guide me? And she fucking just didn't, never replied. She didn't reply to any emails since then. Like what kind of person does this? She just abandoned this, me. I'm out in the freaking scary woods with the fucking evil bloody cohorts of shit, learning so much stuff, it's so overwhelming, giving me a psychosis, and he's like, tell me to fucking meditate and breathe, and start bringing up my mum trauma, and then tell me that, like, rationalise her neglect to me, do you know what I fucking have been through since I've been in this country that I shouldn't have had to go through? I'm, like, seriously, like, done with talking to people from my family now, every time they ring me, I just get triggered, and have to, like, justify myself, like, I don't justify myself to anybody. They're not me in my body. They're not around me to see what I'm going through. And uh, they fucking support over these being minimal. Yeah, this is white family for you. They think it's normal just to like, you know, leave home when you're a certain age and you just like, you know, hardly ever come back just for Christmas and, and every now and then. You know, like... This is not what my son's Greek family is like. They ring each other every day, check in and that. Like, worried about it out themselves and like how they're doing and stuff. You know, like normal. So, like, who are you? Earth goddesses. Are you spirits? Closely related. How come I can hear you, but I can't see you? We use vibrational frequencies to communicate. Some lines. Is it true, the spirit dancing I was doing? Yes, keep doing them. It unlocks ancient ancestral DNA in your blood. How come every time I get extremely traumatized, it's followed by, like, a new magic ability? Pain and sacrifice is the gateways. And your goddesses. We are the archetypes. Oh, I've seen Thor and my boyfriend so many times. The weather responds to us. Correct. What is the weather trying to tell us? Does it want us to, like, harness it or something? Or Because when I have a fucking very bad psychosis, if you've triggered off by a conversation with an ignorant, dumb family member... Um, who's just says something to me that just traumatizes me even more and doesn't make me feel validated and just rationalizes all the shit I've been through. They've got no idea what I've been through, how or how strong I am. I don't even know me. You've changed. Every time that happens, some, I, I get, I do some freaky art and then it comes true. You have a multitude of abilities. Nature mourns with you. With you. Talk more about DMT experience. When I took DMT, um, I mean, it was good. I liked it, but I didn't really get the effect I was expecting from it. I don't see any beings. That's okay. You don't always see them. I told you before, I saw the pyramids and like, it felt like a home feeling. And I was sent it before in a lucid dream and I asked, was taken to Orion belt. So I, I'm not from Orion, okay? I'm not a fucking alien consciousness. I'm human on planet Earth, and I love Earth and care about Earth. So, um, what does this mean? You tapped into the collective consciousness. Collective what? Consciousness. Oh, yeah? It's a human it's a memory, memory data, data bank. Data. And prophecy. The memory data, really? Yes, really. You have permission yes, to freak yes, out. Freak. I'm more like enemy of colonization, so... Collective consciousness will help you. Has Egypt got something to do with that? Were they colonizers? Like alien race? Egypt got colonized. We're still recovering. Ah, oh, really? Oh. So I kept drawing them. Even since I had that experience. And I kept, yeah. 
right. We're going to ask you some questions now about your initiation. Was I initiated into... Yeah, I was from a very young age. Through a painful, painful traumatic, traumatic experience when you were young? Heavily exploited. This is the modern is the initiation, modern initiation yeah. process for women, we've noticed. I want to know why they're so fucked up. Why people keep hurting me? You know why. Like, I don't deserve it. I don't ask for it. I don't seek it. Now I have issues of self-worth and self-esteem. Yeah. Because people are fucked. This world is corrupt. It's rigged. There's agendas. I'm being watched. Being experimented on, being controlled, being uh, yeah, desensitized to, to violence and rape and pornography, like. And they've killed off the old gods and heroes. Is it just me like this? Like, am I a special god, goddess, or something? Or is everyone meant to be like this? More and more are being born every day. Okay. You must protect them. The humans have forgotten how to. How to. You notice that friends leave you unexpectedly. Yeah, it did. What are the numbers? Anything? The eleven, eleven, three, three. Because every time I'm in, like really about to give up and fuck desperate, I get a three, 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 and then my boyfriend is around. What? What are the number alignments? Pay no mind to the number. Is that you? No, it's the infiltrators. Oh, okay, okay, as well, not just the number alignments. Okay, like I've had a freaky life, freaky shit happening, freaky imagination. Freaky dreams. I used to dream about being married to lions. I used to dream about serpent guys with serp, uh, human body and serpent bottom halves, and uh, apocalypses, and planes crashing, and tornadoes, hurricanes, storms. I used to dream about trees eating people, I used, and now I was riding on a tree as if it was like a horse, and we were just going around crushing fucking people that want to fuck with us. So that painting that I drew was not one I was on DMT. Anything, any significance to that? Is the, is the kids, are the kids the second coming of Jesus, like I thought it was? Are they the second coming? G race, godly race, race, yes, race, coming. Yes, coming. So I know that they need to be protected, very vulnerable, and they're very high potently magic. Correct. Correct. I just know this. Are they meant to be my army? Up to you. I had a picture the other day where I was on a tree and there's an old lady in a wheelchair in the tree at the bottom and I was on top riding it again with a crown on my head and all these different beings following behind me and a portal there for them to all go into. Like, freeing them. Trippy! Tri like, why would I think of such a thing? I don't even, I'm not even into the whole, like, dimensional theory thing. Ah, uh, you're a trippy uh, you're artist? Trippy. Who's had a Kundalini awakening? I wasn't expecting to have a Kundalini frickin' shake up of the spine chakras. The hell, man. I just wanted to be like well being and healing and shit. We all know that's too tame for you. This is dark. This is a dark life, man. It's very fucking alienating and isolating and think I'm going crazy. Luckily, and I know. You know, my boyfriend isn't always there for me. You know, and I'm by myself thinking these freaky things, believing these freaky things. It's scary. I hear noises in the house. I'm scared of my house. I'm scared to be alone in my house. I think there's spirits around me. They can't hurt you. You're strong, You're and, strong brave. and brave. You, you can, can handle this. Can. Like, is this going to get worse? Like, am I going to start seeing them? I'm seeing faces everywhere. Aboriginal faces and half human, half animal faces. Lion faces and shit. The ancestors want to see you a lot. I'm seeing a lot of like mother and child in the clouds, seeing a lot of jokers in the clouds. It's rare for an adult to have imagination like this. And like nobody believes me. And I asked my, my parents for help, my mum for help, because like she raised me with all this freaking magic goddess shit. So, and she just like isn't there for me. So I, I'm less like, why do I have to be abandoned because her whole situation and when she was a child was fucked? It happened in the past. She, and she uses it as an excuse to be just la a lazy parent. It angers me so much and it's like the anger and rage I feel towards both my parents for what they did and continue to do to me. Forces like my ego to face the most biggest crisis of like survival 
that it just breaks down, breaks apart, and it takes me down to the raw subconscious level of who I am. And that's when I get the like the abilities and the magic and the wisdom and the truth and the visions and the prophecy from that place. Because I'm so broken down by pain. There was a theorist who actually was uh, opposite to Carl Jung. He's like the dark shadow of Carl Jung. That said, uh, Carl Jung and Freud were on the wrong track. And that the secret to it is to just go through like ultimate despair and desperation and abandonment pain. To unlock power, wisdom, magic. Is that true? If it's true for you, then it's true. What does this mean? It means everyone's version of reality is filtered, but yours is kind of not. Gets to this level of the maze or the, or the matrix, do they also get this? Or is it, am I like a special one? We can't answer that. Witches used to be the doctors of the community. Each witch had a different ability. Sometimes the witch just meant you had a, a knowledge of her medicine that you used to make into concoctions because you're clever and uh, give to people who were sick. Like a healer. Some witches had the power of traveling with the spirits to different dimensions and getting information. Some witches had the vision of prophecy. Some witches just had a way with people and used to spook people out because they were just kind of like maybe half spirit or something. Uh, witches are, are not inherently evil. They're not inherently amazingly innocent either. But they definitely have been demonized and eradicated and turned into an archetype now that it's just some fantasy. Uh, some, most witches have an ability, so this is how you can tell. How to tell a witch if you've met one? Well, if you're a man that's attracted to women, as I'm sure a lot of men in, on earth are, naturally, uh, and you meet a woman one time, or you know her, or you pass her in the street, or briefly, or a long time, and she haunts your dreams for years to come, that, my friend, is a witch. They leave imprints on the people they have come into contact with. They actually can't get close to people and love others. They're made for the solitary room in life these days. They're not connected to the community. Some of them are a bit batty and crazy, so the kids used to maybe just not go there after school, walk past the house, whatever. But, uh, yeah, they sent witches into uh, Eden. Rounded them up and killed them. Many members of this hysteria that, uh, you know, uh, Math people were thinking that the witch was casting spells on them. It was all just everybody scared of the authorities and pointing the finger at the person to get themselves out of strife if they felt that someone was suspicious and paranoid about them being magic. You know, um, maybe the ancestors were trying to get through to the people who were witches and they just turned on the witches. You know, what to do with the mob that you're trying to protect turns on you and tries to kill you. Uh, witches have gone down in history because of this. People who aren't even witches, just women. So this is like a demonizing of of women. Maybe because women more more tend to be magic. I'm not sure. But uh, behind every magic witch is a magic man. Honestly, men help us to be magic. We have to be magic by ourselves. We need their uh, special cuddles, if you want to call it. Uh, keeping it in the uh, G rating here. Uh, it helps with the magic. Especially if it's tantric and drawn out. This is a tip for you boys and girls. Okay. Oh, Dahl's book about the witches. Not really un un understanding why he used the witches archetype to describe pedophile rings. Um, because this kind of like child abduction uh mission, uh, which has been going on throughout history, and dressed up in all sorts of kind of ways. The colonizers have come up with ways of abducting your children. Creating a system where that you're living in that's kind of like making it really hard to be a perfect parent. And if you're not a perfect parent, you're at risk of getting your children taken away from you. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, the archetypes that try to warn you to this, that want to, are designed to sit here by the ancestors to help us, no wonder they've been demonized. Any kind of child charity, I'm sus on. Look at the royal family.